Can you feel that? Yo, what's up, you guys? Hello, everyone. My name is Bradley. I have a Brad taste in music, and today we are going to be listening to the infamous album, The Sickness. This is we're continuing down the rabbit hole of new metal, and this is considered one of the shit stains of the era that uh, that everyone seemed to like at the time. That everyone hates now. But some people still like it. I thought it had some catchy moments from the stuff that I've heard. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. There it is. Oh, it's it's beautiful, you guys. And that's right. And we got the new sound bite. Do it again! Yes, do it again! I'll be again, boy! I'll be again, boy! I promise! Do it again! Daddy! Oh, I'm so s <laughs> we'll find a use for that, I guess. Anyways, you guys, we're listening to this album. No, I don't plan on listening to anything else from Disturbed. This is just the one that I, that everyone knows, you know what I mean? Or maybe I'm wrong. Is there another album that people know better? What about this shit? Yeah, this one's actually pretty popular. This this one also seems like uh, a lot of people know this one. These guys are huge. They're a huge band. Um, and I'll be honest, I'm not crazy for them, but I also don't hate it. So, with that being said, let's give it a shot. First song... Voices. I hear the voices. So I get breathing. So now, now, so I'm gonna stop the madness. I'm gonna talk about the BDC now. Big night, and then the big night. Say it now. Someone is gonna die. Uh, okay. All right. Oh my god, the synths? What the fuck am I getting into? Okay. What the fuck is this? Oh my god, this is every gimmick under the sun during the, like, alternative metal era. It literally sounds like that one, uh, that one riff, like the Mission Impossible riff that, that you heard on the Limp Biscuit album, but instead he's rapping about, like, people dying but not really in any interesting or valuable way or even in any disturbing way it's just honestly really it's not going all the way i'm gonna be honest this this shit kind of weak <laughs> what the fuck it was so unbelievably tacky it's trying to sound like so outside the box while being so formulaic this like get up and jump style of rapping, I I think that this thinks that it's being more. No, I don't think that it thinks it's being more creative than it is. It honestly doesn't sound like it's going past the bare minimum for me. It's tacky. I don't like it. It's a red headphones. Uh, that being said, there are a Dog. couple of moments where it kind of works, but also the accent is embarrassingly overdone. It doesn't sound like a beast. It just sounds like a lunatic. Nope. All right, let's continue. Oh, my, the game. The synths. Oh my god. Tell me exactly what am I supposed to do? And I am allowed oh my god. to beat me. Do you think that we could play another game? Maybe I can win this time. I kind of like the misery you put me through. Darling, you can't trust me completely. What's the cover supposed to be? I think that's like... See, I don't know, because I'm, like, Jewish or whatever, but I think most people are born with that uh, around their necks. <laughs> okay. That part's kind of good. That part was good. Society. They just kind of suck. Wow. Do it again. Just do it again. I'll be again, boy. Wow. That was. That was terrible. Strong red headphones to a light oh. shrug. Couple of moments I was vibing out, but oh my god, these lyrics are terrible. They, it, this is, I'm not kidding you, about a step away from being Nickelback. The only difference is it's trying to be metal instead of rock. That's it. With, with a lot of annoying effects over it. I, I... Ugh. 
Don't disrespect Nickelback like that. Uh, next song, Stupefy. Where have I heard these lyrics? I swear I've heard this in like a Limp Bizkit song somewhere or something. Back? Oh no, was it fact? Oh! Oh, add it up? It could have been. Can I get just one fuck? Why can I get just one fuck? I guess it has something to do with luck, but I. You no, know, but just one. Damn. I can do it, boy! I can do it, boy! I lost my way again through the storm! Bro, this shit pathetic, dude. Why do you play with my narrow scope of reality? Like, wow. Wow. Okay. The best part actual system of a down. Got 30 seconds left. Oh, it's gonna get deep. Oh, for what, dude? It's coming, the sickness? Is it gonna transition in? <laughs> it don't even do that. Wow, that was underwhelming. Um, um... <laughs> Uh, Stupefy has some moments that I think are alright. There are a couple of moments where the intensity pushes through. Unfortunately, it's all for a song that seems to be about some really stupid shit. Stupefy. Girl, you make me stupefy? The whole aesthetic of this shit is trash. Dog It's- it's in one regard trying to be like badass, and in another regard... Going for like this Limp biscuit level awkwardness that just does not work for this style. Ladies and gentlemen, down with the sickness. Oh, shit. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Deep in my sea of yeah, I've listened to the gay version of this song so many times, it's actually so hard to, like, listen to these lyrics and not hear Drowning deep in my sea of gayness Sucking on your penis. All right, enough. Uh, enough people haven't heard the gay version. I'm just gonna play a little bit of it. I'm not gonna play the whole thing though, because I do actually want to listen to the official version. I'll play like a minute of it. Can you feel that? Oh! Oh! Shit. oh wow. In my own direction. And then there's the they they have the domestic abuse solo, right? But then they they change that into uh, I'll, I'll show you guys after we're done listening to the official version, but. As you can see that after hearing that the uh, the song's been a little bit tainted for me. Yeah, the singing is terrible, dude. Dealing with this gayness. So, I actually kind of enjoy this song up to this point because it's got a really catchy chorus and I'm able to look uh, past some of the really weak vocals. As I feel like this is probably the catchiest song up to this point, and I feel like it's stuck for so long because of that. Um, but I really truly believe I, I believe this song gets fucking ruined by this next segment. Here we go. And when I cream.
It's it's yeah. I don't know where it comes from. That that solo is so out of fucking nowhere. But I feel like the gay version proves it. This is the good version. So, yeah, um, <laughs> um, I, I, I gotta say, overall, this song, it kind of stinks, it's a red headphones, but the gay version oh. of this song, the gay version of this song, I believe it's improved. I think that's worth some points. Violence Fetish is the name of the next song. Here we go. This is literally the same song as the last one. Like, actually the exact same song. I'm, I'm not the only one who hears that, right? Yeah, it hey, thank you so much. Uh, is that Beethoven? What's up, gangsta? What was I saying? Oh, yeah, no, his, his vocal style, I think it's trying to sound like a demon, but it sounds like somebody who's trying to, like, replicate some sort of form of reggae meets corn. And it's so odd. Personally, to me, it just sounds so shitty. And the lyrics behind it are so bad. I really wish this worked, but it doesn't. Uh, this is actually just the same as the last song, Red Headphones. Like, seriously, Dog. it is the exact same song. Like, it sounds a little bit different, but in terms of literally the, the vocals, the structuring, even the bridge sounds similar, dude. And yeah, and it's more boring. I don't like it as much. I, I don't know, man. Next song. F it's called Fear. Oh shit. Oh man, you're walking down the street in the 90s and and you're white and you're holding on to your purse. Uh, uh. This sounds like shit, dude. What the fuck? See, anyways, I've started listening to like early Converge. You know what I mean? Like that's how I get, that's the satisfaction that I can, this, this sort of animalistic primal fucked up feeling where shit really feels like it's ripping and tearing. I feel like early Converge is like the perfect example of that. As the entire song just hits you with it and there's no room to sort of fall out with any tacky shit you know if if i want to really feel like a monster i want to really feel like a monster this shit what kind of sick being starts with i don't want to be innocent i want to be a monster yo sex chat 69 says like hot photo my sister yo that's crazy you guys i don't want to be i don't want to be I'll be honest, this whole song has just gone over my head. I barely feel like anything's happened. I don't wanna be. If I can give an example of a band doing this, I'm a monster thing, but actually succeeding, I'm curious. Sure. Worm Rot's also pretty good. Does anyone have a good one? Oh, primitive man! Oh shit, yo. Rabbit, these bands are doing completely different genres. You're right, and I wish I had a better example. Because admittingly, I don't know a whole lot of bands that do this whole I'm a monster thing in a style of alternative metal. Oh, wait! You know who kind of does it well? Just the kind of kind of a little bit iron maiden now it's not necessarily trying to be a monster but the grand storytelling the heavy riffs 
the clear feeling of all of it, it's epic. It actually very heavily succeeds at the aesthetic that it's going for. I think I think that might be a good example. Honestly, that song kind of sucked. Dog. The lyrics were terrible. The vocals were annoying. It felt non-functional. It did feel way longer than it was. That that too. That was pain. That was pain. Next song, numb. Yeah. Is this like the new dark wave song from the underground or something? Oh, those synths. Oh my god, do you hear that, like, sharp, analog, like, do you hear that synth? That, like, This is better than Tool, you guys. I love Alice in Chains. Did everyone just rip off Tool? This tool is actually like, like really interesting artistically. It should be in a, yeah, I mean, the audiences are pretty similar. The Joker and Harley Quinn compilation, specifically Suicide Squad, Joker and Harley Quinn compilation, but yes. Wait, was she, what the hell are you sending me? Attention, all you metalheads. The album you didn't know you were waiting for is finally here. <laughs> the greatest hit of Disturbed! All of your favorite Disturbed songs, including these classic parties. <laughs> With their unique style of self-imposed, limited creativity, no band has ever done more with less than disturbed. Self-imposed, limited creativity? That was good. Thanks for sharing that, Lego Shea. That was a good video. Shape of You down with the sickness mashup. That sounds more interesting than what we're listening to, so hold on. I know the pieces fit. This is sickening. This is horrible. Isn't this agonizing? No, this literally just sounds like the Disturbed song, but like sprayed perfume on it so that it could be used for the Zootopia original soundtrack. That is terrible. Anyways, that last song uh, from Disturbed it was pretty shit. Right headphones. Dog. I am uh, I'm starting to be unable to look up Derb below alongside the ailment. What is Derbed? God, I'm not gonna keep looking up shit. Rounding deep in my semen. Broken your back. Looking at my own shit. <sighs> Next song, want. She want me. It sucks. How many songs are left? And when I cream. This sucks. I'm not. Uh, no. These these are the worst songs. Dog. Holy shit! This is so boring. This is so dull. It's so uninteresting. No. Sitting through this is pain. Next song, conflict. Every song really. Enemy, enemy, enemy. 
how does anyone listen to this shit? Anime! Anime! He must outlive his anime. I'll be honest with you, the fact that this does sound like anime makes this song actually very funny to listen to. And I like to imagine he's just saying anime every time, in which case actually increases my enjoyment of this song. He must eliminate his greatest anime. Bro, this shit sucks, dude. Why are we still even listening to this? There's no way in hell I'm actually going to include any of this in the actual video. Like, it's all the same. In fact, what you're watching right now is most likely not even going to be in the video. Let's be real. There's about six songs here that people give a shit about. Actually, there's about one song some people give a shit about. And I can probably put in about six songs and just cut out everything else and you get the point. Anime! Oh. I know, the anime thing was funny. Shout 2000. This came out the year 2000. Yo, that's deep. Oh, fucking hell. Why is this song five minutes long, dude? That just happened? I was sort of spacing out. What? Dog. <sighs> Time has not done this well. I'll just put it like that. Wow. Wow. Next song. Dropping plates. Well, here we go again. Max up, Ross, we got the bass drum kick that will blow out your eyes. Really, rock, I'm dropping plates. Oh, yeah, man. Let's go again. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Final song, Meaning of Life. It's called Meaning of Life. How bad could it be, you know? Okay. Oh my god. Can you dig it? I think I've heard enough. Dog. <sighs> this album isn't just poorly aged, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing for the people who actually did listen to this and enjoyed it, who listen to it now and recognize how awful this really is. How every song is the exact same. How the singing is just so tacky. It's so, it's literally actually just relying on a gimmick with some of the worst lyrics possible. I genuinely found this to be a painful listen, but not the most painful listen I've had. Period. I'm going to give this album a 2-. minus. I really don't like it. I, I really would not want to sit through this again. It's painful. At points, there were some nice riffs, and sometimes the gimmick worked on me, but it felt like it was constantly throwing everything it could and had out the fucking window into a giant dumpster. Uh, yeah, I thought that was... Yeah, that was rough. Anyways, you guys, thank you everyone for being here. Uh, thank you all for participating, and I hope to see you next time. If you have any suggestions for albums, leave it down in the comments. If not... I'll see you around. All right, peace.